welcome to irishracing.com another edition of emma's eye catcher is gonna have a quick run through some of my favorite performances from the past week i suppose we retreated to the reschedule a lot as an ace on friday reading tommy wong bit of a shock winner there got the better of more fancied stable mate in atlantic who was a short price favorite kind of um bit of a shock there maybe a bit underrated coming into the race be interested to see can he back it up now he's really announced himself on that staying novice herders division so interesting to see how well that race pans out but i think my favorite performances came from some very well-bred uh performers during the week i think Firstly, Mystical Power on Sunday in the Moscow Flyer Novice Hurdle. I suppose out of any power by Galileo, um, he was always going to have some bit of ability, but I think he's probably going beyond maybe what I expected him, considering he's kind of route into racing, started off in Ballinrobe, went to Galway. You're kind of thinking, they must not think too much about this fella, but... He, I think he might be surprising everyone a small bit. Um, like turning into the home straight there, just the way he accelerated by them. Like I didn't think he didn't look like a winner turning in to me anyway, but definitely has that engine um from from both sides of his parents, I suppose. But yeah, his jumping is probably the only worry coming in. Like he's he's gone to favourite for the Supreme now, but like he'll have to slicken up a bit now if he's going if he's gonna go straight there. He didn't jump particularly badly, I don't think, but just maybe a little bit slow. Um, just have, gonna have to be a little bit more professional, I suppose, coming into a race like the Supreme. It'd be interesting to see, like, do they want to split himself and Jericho Derapene both uh towards the top of the market for JP McManus in the Supreme, of course. He might want to maybe put one up to the Ballymore just to 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 balance out his options a small bit, but Willie didn't seem too keen to be stepping this fella out of the two mile division just yet, so himself and Nicky might have to fight that one out closest at a time. But another very well um bred uh, newcomer actually this time on Monday in Pontestown, Maureen. Um I think out of a half sister of Faheen, and yeah, she she would remind you of him. She's very striking looking, just like Faheen. She has that big stripe down the face and looks to have an awful lot of ability as well. I'd be a little bit weary about hyping up these kind of well bred newcomers too early. But yeah, I can't be anything but really, really impressed by her. Um, she by walk in the park as well. Uh, she yeah, she was just brilliant. I just thought like maybe turning into the home straight. Patrick went quite wide. And you're kind of thinking, you know, is, is she is she going to be this good? But um, like he wrote her like th- defeat was out of the question, and it really was. She was just absolutely brilliant. Never came off the bridle. Um, a really exciting one for the Class Sutton Racing Club. They, I think they mentioned afterwards, I'm not going to overphase her this year. Probably unlikely she would go for the Cheltenham bumper, maybe one for that Mayor's bumper and entry towards the end of the season. Um, but yeah, she looks a really exciting prospect. And yeah, two kind of ones to reminisce on for Heen and Annie Power. Um, good to see some relations of them coming up through the ranks as well. Um, but like an eye catching loser, I suppose, from the week as well. Saint Wah um ran in the Dan and Joan Moore Memorial Chase in Fairy House on Saturday. Wasn't the first choice on jockey bookings for sure, but I thought he ran a lovely race to finish fourth. Rated one five one. I think if he went to a Cheltenham Festival handicap, I'd say most likely the Grand Annual. He'd have a right crack at that. He was third in the Arca last year, of course. He's a talented horse, um, and yeah, he could have a big day in him yet. I just, I, I was, I was taken by the way he ran, and yeah, they could be laying him out for something bigger in the future. So probably one for the tracker for sure, and another eye catching one actually from the entries didn't run during the week but captain combi was entered for the erica this week um what caught my eye about that look he'd be a long shot for that race but he's actually changed stable to emmett mullins and changed owner to paul Byrne. i think everyone knows how well they've done with these kind of acquisitions so it'd be very interesting to see where he will turn up next and what they can do with him um but yeah i just thought that was thought that was one to note as well but to wrap it up an anti-post bet for the week I think Silent Approach actually looks a massive price for the Mayor's Chase. I thought she ran a lovely race in that grade three race in Punchestown on Sunday behind Splans Tower and Blood Destiny. Two very good horses, I would think. She was actually giving the, the two geldings um, a little bit of weight as well, which was a big performance, I think. She has done nothing but improve since switching to fences. I think if you look at the Mayor's Chase market, there's plenty ahead of her in the betting that I wouldn't give um, as much a chance as I would give her. I really fancy Dinah Blue for that race, but I think at 33 to 1, she has a real, really each way chance for that kind of race, I think. Um, so yeah, she's she's one to keep on side. But if you have any eye catches yourselves, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll be back on Friday with a forum scan show with Pat Healy. And just make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content.